I recently made a video responding to a mean comment, which, you know, means nothing to me. Because it only shows ignorance and, you know, it's, it's more on them than it is on me, you know. And I was also talking about God, and I received two comments. One was about God, and the other was about the me comment, which to me wasn't mean. It was just, you know, Mr. Blobby. I mean, heh, I've heard worse. I mean, that's like a G-rated comment, you know. And so it, it shows more on that, the person who said it, of ignorance and disrespect and non-positive or negative, construct, you know, unconstructive. And so the comment I get was, what a horrible mean comment. You look more like Grimace, personally speaking. Grimace is the character in the uh, in the McDonald commercials, and again, G-rated, ignorant, ignorance, pure ignorance, and the need to you know, knock somebody down to make them feel better. So the person who said it reflects them more than any attack on me. And here we have another ignorant person. I don't know why you're watching my videos. You obviously are not in my corner. I don't understand why you're watching me. It makes absolutely no sense, which then reflects on them. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, if you're going to call me Grimace, then you might as well call me um, Job of the Hutt in the Star Wars movies. Right? Why not? Again, G-rated. Not shocking. Not, it, it's, it's stupid. It's brainless because you're not being positive. You're not doing anything positive or constructive. So it means nothing to me other than me feeling pity for you. And all I can think of is I wish you good luck. I wish you a good life. I hope whatever hole or whatever void you feel in your life, I hope you can heal your soul, you know. And then the other comment was about Gaza. Why do we call God Allah? Which was another comment, or another theme, I should say, in comments about Muslims, which, you know, in extreme Muslim terrorists who are against Jews, anti-Semitic, and so forth. So it's like, he says, why don't we call God Allah? Well, Muslims call their God Allah. I could have said that in the video. I didn't. Okay, so I'm saying it now. 
Christians have their God, Muslims have their God. Their God is Allah. That's perfectly fine. No problem with that. The problem is extreme Muslim terrorists who take the words of the Quran and apply it to people who aren't Muslim. The writers of the Quran were only interested in Muslims who are members of the Islam religion, Muslim religion. And it says in the Quran, if you find anyone who does not follow Allah, then that person must be destroyed because it's sacrilege, he's an infidel and so forth. Do you, do you think the writers of the Quran thought that anyone who is not Muslim, who does not have a copy of the Quran, who would know about this? It's not intended for those who aren't Muslims and followers of Islam. Not intended for that any more than I would say that Christians who worship Jesus, they're committing idolatry. No, no, we don't say that because they're not obligated to Jewish law because they're not Jewish. So they're not obligated. So we don't, you know, we don't say that they're committing a grave sin because our laws are for us and intended only for our eyes. Like the Quran is only for their eyes. But the extreme Muslim terrorists think reads more into that line some or assume something in line that isn't there. But they put it in there that it applies to everyone. So that means Jews and Christians would be infidels, okay? And that's what their mission is to spread to the world, that Jews and Christians are infidels and must be destroyed. So not only the Jews are to be destroyed, so will the Christians. And Sharia law would have to be applied to Christian women and Jewish women and all women. But again, they will be destroyed. Christians will be destroyed because they're not following Allah. So anybody, any Christian, Catholic or Protestant or someone who's not Muslim, start talking about embracing Muslim Islam and not being a follower of Islam, they're only going to be asking for death themselves. So that's why I really feel for people who are pushing the glory of Muslims, the glory of Islam, and they don't realize they're embracing their own demise because it applies to everybody. Jews, Christians, atheists, everybody else. So, and, you know, 
anti-Semitic again. There's hate. There we go again with hate. Hate, hate, hate. In other cultures, in other societies, like in the Asian society, Chinese, Japanese, you know, Philippines, no hatred of others. No talking bad about other people. Because they talk about loving each other instead of hating each other, embracing each other. We're all members of the human race. And hatred is so unnecessary, so unnecessary. You hate me because I'm Jewish. You hate me because I have health issues. That's on you, pal. That's on you. Hasn't got anything to do with me. And and I'm probably going to say that until I'm blue in the face because it goes in one ear and out the other. I understand. I understand. I guess what I'm trying to accomplish with this video is to expose these kind of people who are filled with hate and ignorance lack of compassion, lack of sympathy. And why can't we have sympathy, compassion, respect? Why is that so elusive? Why is that so hard for people to have. It's so simple. I just don't get it. But we got them. We got compassionate people and we got discompassionate people. They're on Sympathetic, unsympathetic. We got them all. It's sad. It's just very, very sad. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will see you later. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.